this question block a is the in the figure has mass of 4 kilograms block b has 12 uh, 0.2 kilogram and block C has 13 kilograms. So this is 13 kilograms this is a heavier one. This is a lighter one, four kilograms, and this is uh, 12 kilograms. And there is some friction between B and uh, block B and the floor, of course, and this is the coefficient of friction. So we have to draw the FBD for it, then write the second law of uh, second law of Newton, then the acceleration and the tension as well. Now remember that this is a heavier block, so definitely it will have a tendency to move towards this direction, right? So the friction will act over here because it is sliding, trying to slide over here. So this is the acceleration, this is the acceleration, this is the acceleration, this is the tension T1, this is the tension T2, this is the tension T1, this is the gravitational force 13G, this is the normal reaction N, this is the gravitational force again 12G, this is the tension T2 and this is 4g so this is the complete fbd uh, uh, if we have to write the newton's law then for 13 kg the newton's law is going to look like uh, 13g minus t1 is equal to 13a uh, for this guy uh, 12 kg it's going to look like uh, t1 minus t2 minus friction force is equal to 12a and for this guy it's going to look like t2 minus 4g is equal to 4a all right, and then the third part, we have to find the acceleration. So how about just add all of them? If we add, then minus T1 plus T1 is canceled, minus T2 plus T2 is canceled, right? So um, we just add it up. And uh, and by the way, there will be another vertical equation. Of, uh, uh, I mean, the equation depicting the vertical forces as well on 12 kg, which says that normal reaction is 12 g. But that should be kept separate. Now we'll add the first three equations so that the tensions are canceled. And 13G minus 4G will become 11G. And this minus F will remain as it is. And 13 plus 12 is 25. 25 plus 4 is 29A. So what is the friction? Friction is mu S times the normal reaction. And that is equal to 29A. So this is 12G. And, then, uh, and the mu is 0 0.25, right? So uh, this will come out as 11G minus 0 0.25 times 12G. And that is equal to 29A. So I think all we have to do is grab our calculator and get this value, right? So G is 9.8, remember? So 0.25 times 12, 11 minus this value times 9.8 over 29. So the acceleration is coming as 2.70 meter per second squared. That, is, that answers the uh, first, the third question. And using equation one and equation three, we can get the uh, tension as well. Using equation one, uh, T1 is going to be 13G minus 13A, right? So we already have the value of A. So we'll just substitute that 13 times 9.8 minus 13 times 2.7. So this value is going to come out as times 13, which is coming as 92.26 Newton. And likewise, using equation 3, the value of T2 is 4G plus 4A. So 4 is taken out. We are left with G plus A. G is 9.8 and A is 2.7. So this value comes out as uh, 50. So this value is 50 Newtons. Thank you.